Hello fellow Spartans and welcome to part 9 of the Rome Let's Play for Total War Rome 2. And we continue where we left off but before we do continue I want to let you guys know that we are one episode away from a one hour special for you all. Episode 10 of all of my three Let's Plays, the main three uh, ca campaigns on the channel will be um, one hour specials on episode 10. I forgot to mention to you on my Egyptian let's play last time but yes my Sparta, Rome and Egypt will be one hour special for you all on episode 10, 20, 30 etc. So yes one hour full goodness for you all for you lucky people to enjoy in uh, in the next episode so do look out and enjoy that when it comes onto the channel very soon. So I want to let you guys know that, as I say, I forgot to mention in episode 9, so, uh, of, of my of my Egyptian Let's Play, that is. So I wanted to make sure you knew straight away at the start of this episode. Okay, so we continue where we left off, as I said to you. We've howled Lilibaeum from the attacking Carthaginians and the Libyans now have tried to, or decided to think they can uh, start to wage war on us as well. So we're going to have to uh, hold that city very strongly in the next few turns I think. I think they're going to be uh, literally striking us at every opportunity. The Libyans as well, look at that. They've got the judge's will. A 20 stack army is on the coast of Carthage. Yeah, that could be imminently attacking us very soon as well. So we're going to have to watch out for that. Um, but of course the goal is if we hold Lilibane with this army here, the Italica Legion, uh, we then bring the Augusta Legion sneakily through the back door and attack Syracuse with our army. Now, in fact, they're actually in range right now. As I say this, they are in range, and these are in forced row as well. So they should... Yes, they have got um, some minuses to their abilities. So they're 25% minus in morale, 25 or minus 25 line of sight. So they are in a... Not a precarious state, but a weakened state. Um, let's have a look at our chance of mercenaries here. We have got mercenaries to recruit, but is it too risky? Is it too risky? They've got one citizen militia, two Libyan hoplites, three mob. Well, mob are useless, but what have they got on this bloody boat? We don't know what's on the boat, do we? It's usually missile skirmish units, so... Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go for it, guys. I'm going to do this. And we're going to go straight into this now. So let's just get the right uh, hiring here. Let's get the right mercenaries to bring to the the battle. So let's bring two veteran hoplites. Um, no, we've got enough power tasks. We've got the velites, in fact. So we don't need them. Let's bring a unit of... In fact, no... Let's just hire the two veteran hoplites to see what we can do from getting going into this region of Syracuse and see if we can actually hire some from in here. No, the same. So there's no difference to the different. I thought if we went to this area here, maybe different mercenaries to that area, but it doesn't seem to be. So let's do this, guys. Let's see what we can do. Oh, and look at this. The battle or auto resolve is really in our favour as well. So let's have a quick look at the breakdown. The garrison army, garrison fleets. Yeah, this is easy. Let's go straight into this one, guys. Let's get this played out. Let's take Syracuse for the Roman Empire, or the Roman Republic, I should say. Let's not get carried away yet. We're not we're not an empire yet. We're still a republic, but uh, let's take it. And let's start to push the Carthaginians back out of Magna Graecia and push them into the lands of North Africa. And obviously with Carthage, we all know about, I'm sure you guys are already aware, the Carthage Let's Play with me on the Hannibal the Gates Court with Lionheart is fully underway now. Two episodes are up and running on the channel and his channel as well, so do check him out if you haven't already. To be honest with you, if you're up to date with my channel, no doubt you've been watching it from the moment it was released, so I don't even have to remind you of that. But if you haven't, please do, do go and check out episode one and two. They are on the channel now and they are pretty good fun and it is starting to uh, boil up now. And in fact, on episode two of that campaign, the Syracuse have just declared war on me. Uh, they are, they've allied, allied themselves to Lionheart with the, uh, and Rome, of course, so they've now declared war on the Carthaginians and me. So their loyalty is very much with the Romans and Lionheart now, which uh, is going to cause me pretty, well, quite a lot of problems, I should think. So we're going to have to see how that one plays out in the next few episodes of the, uh, the co-op. So hopefully a few more will be uploaded to the channel 
uh, very soon. Uh, but say uh, keep your eyes peeled for them. Okay, so let's get these mercenaries in here. Frontline supported by the uh, Stati, Stati, Stati in rank 2. Principes supporting in the 3rd rank. Triori at the back there and then the Valite is going to go through at the front here. Going to start the battle. Let's go straight into it. Now there's ships are docking possibly over here they're going to dock. They're not going to be of major issues to us. We will take them out at some point. They may even just dock here and stay there knowing sometimes what the AI tends to do on this uh, these siege battles. They seem to sit there and that's it. But we won't we won't you know won't take them for granted. They may they may come at us but we don't know yet. We'll see. We'll soon find out. But let's uh, keep pushing on. Ignore them for the moment. They're still uh, messing around the sea. Let's try and take the town centre. They seem to be retreating back to that strategic point there, so let's see how the AI play out on this one. Let's bring these round here, bring their Stati on the left flank there. The Principes are going to support the... Uh, in fact, uh, yes, the, the Principes will go and support the Stati on the left flank. We'll take the Velites and group them as well into group 4, supporting the mercenary spears and hoplites there. And then uh, the general as well will provide cover and moral support for the mercenaries that way. So we're going to take the the battle to them on two fronts and see how this one plays out. And as well, if you haven't already, um, I uploaded the final of the last or the most recent up Rubicon casual tournament, which was played out yesterday, the Sunday, the 14th. Is it the is it 14th? Let me just check my diary. Oh, sorry, today's the 14th, sorry. Um, Sunday the 13th of April. Um, I was very um, happy to be able to be asked to uh, have casted the final. I was asked by uh, Versus, who's the uh, group coordinator of the Rubicon tournament. He asked me if I would cast at the final, which I uh, uh, was very happy to do. And uh, yeah, so the two um, battles which were fought out in the final, the best of three, the two battles um, which were won by Anarchy, have been uploaded to the channel, so if you haven't watched them, do check them out. Damn good fun. It gives you guys a taste as well. It gives you a taste of what you could be doing if you uh, participate in the next tournament, which will be held probably next month at some point. And as I said to you before, and I said to you again, get involved, guys. You, there's nothing stopping you. You're no doubt better total. In fact, I know you'd be better total war players than me, and I've participated in it. So, in it, so you guys will have no problem with being able to get involved in it. So, I definitely recommend you have a look at it and try it out, um, because I reckon you guys will probably go and win it, knowing, knowing some of you players and how you've been advising me what to do. So, I reckon your tactics will be pretty worthwhile. But uh, yeah, do check it out. So, we've already engaged, as we always do, with the Estate straight in there against the Libyan Hoplites. And now they're going to tell you, bring all their forces, committing all to that side here. So if we bring in our Hoplites and bring them into the rear, that's going to cause them um, real good problems if we want. But they have now brought the f their armies and they've committed most of them to say to the Estate on the right hand side there, but if we bring in the veteran hoplites here, they're going to take down this one pretty easy, I should think. Oh, engaging beautifully there, kind of, kind of flying there with a spear. It's a nice engagement from the hoplites here, let's take them off formation attack, it seems to be when you're attacking with the units, formation attack isn't too good, but if you take them... So if you leave it on when you're defending, it's better. That's what Lionheart said in one of his recent match plays. If you have it on formation attack when you're attacking, it's not good. But if you leave it on when you're defending, formation attack does work better. So let's see if that's the case in this battle. The mercenary hoplites doing fantastically. Theo has spears as well, pushing in against these mob units and skirmishers in the centre. Keep going, keep going, don't give in. Let's get the Vlites now to rank up the support in the rear here, get him on to quick reload as well, get him firing in against the javelin, javelin men there, Stati here holding up quite nicely, of course the Principes are there to support if required, hopefully we won't need to use them, but the SAR waving our hoplites is starting to crumble, 
Well dropping there. Felita is down inside the five in now, she's good. And still we haven't got any problems with these fleets here. They have they have docked. Where they are, I do not know. They may have come down down here and sweeped across this way possibly. It looks like they have actually. So if we keep pushing on with our veteran hopper lights and spearmen and see what we can do here. Keep the spears pushing right into that uh, skirmisher. Units here. General as well is here. The, uh, Gitsko, his name is, but well, looks at things. Yeah, the Vlite is fine against these mob here. They'll bring them down pretty quickly, I should hope. So you can see them as a wave comes in of spears now. One get five, and here we go. Boom. Beautiful. The is turning in our favor. Of course it's turning in our favor. It's turning in our favor before we even started. Going in, guys. Oh, we've got wavering again here. Living our price is starting to crumble nicely now. Keep pushing in, keep going. This unit to come around here. Oh, literally taking every man they can here. The Astati taking no prisoners. And keep as well. I was thinking about this in the moment. This epic battle that's in front of us now. It just reminded me if you have got an epic screenshot of a battle that's been played out in Rome 2 recently and you've got a screenshot of it or you, you know you, you go and get a screenshot of one uh, in the next few days do it print screen it and get it sent over to myself and Lionheart as a screenshot at the most epic moment you've fought in Rome 2 and you if you win if you say it over and we like it enough and you win the competition you will get a copy of Hannibal the Gates for your own to keep so uh, that's the, the competition in the co-op campaign so there is a few days left to um, to enter it so please if you haven't already get a screenshot get it sent over to us and get yourself in a chance of winning the uh, Handle with the Gates co-op sorry Handle with the Gates DLC not the co-op that's us but the, the DLC okay so let's push in here now on that left side yeah they're waving there so to move these are going to go straight away now they'll be shaken by the losses they're incurring here that's it. Surely now we've got this in the bag. Bring them forward. Now we've got some reinforcements coming from the beach here. We've got the Felice to fire in against these. Get these started to come over and support the, uh, the Felices now. Oh, we've got some firing here as well. Fighting, I should say. Let's take a unit of the to go left out there. Break them across to them. And then the other three to hit here. The men are wavering. Stati should then support them now. Keep going, keep going. Let's break these guys now. This should be the end. Then this should be the end. And take these men down. Shields all protect themselves nicely here. To a peeler as usual, going straight into the body there of the men. Men flying bloody there. If you look at that guy there, he's got covered in blood he's taken none of it he's gone and we've ended the battle there we've won it close victory but we have beaten them and when he says close victory it wasn't that close 598 we could have done a bit better i suppose but uh we did lose a couple of units of well, about 20 units to friendly fire but we didn't do too badly there actually uh so our spear is doing very well 257 so yeah good victory there and we have taken syracuse and it begins the downfall of Carthage begins today. Not in my co-op, I hope, but in this for sure, definitely. So wait for the uh, the battle loading screen to finish off, and we'll go back to the campaign map. And now we have got now Magna Graecia, haven't we? As well, we've controlled the whole settlement now, also the whole province, I should say. So let's get them to fall down on their knees, and now. We'll occupy the settlement because we don't want to try. We don't want to cause too much um, problems with public order. We can just con convert the buildings in time as well. So yeah, that's fine. So we have now controlled the island of Sicily, the whole province of Magna Graecia. We've got the Corsica province up here, the whole Italia province as well. So we've got three in total now. So this is looking very good indeed. But what we need to do straight away, unfortunately, even though you did a fantastic job there, gentlemen. We do need to disband you now because, look, <coughs> excuse me, look at the treasury. It is quite precarious. So let's get that back up. Increase our um, 
scale for our general now. I'm going to go for this tower. We've gone for that one quite frequently at the moment, so I'm going to go for this one, Cavalry Command, to get some experience ranks for the um, Cavalry, the Equites, which we will be recruiting very soon we from this province as we move on in the, the in the episodes. Okay, so what we're going to do now is get our spy to come down here and to start to cause some disruption to this army and hopefully the whole area of Carthage itself. Uh, now we have got the Legio Italica, Julia Italica. They are replenishing. We need them to replenish as soon as possible. No doubt there's going to be more wave attacks coming very soon. Um, Augusta Legion, they will be replenishing nicely as well in a few turns. We've got our army up here at Padavine, which we are we going to be, as I said, mounting ready to attack the Noria, which aren't. God, they are quite weak already. Interesting. But they have got a lot of garrison army, and of course they have got the walls to protect them, so it's risky going in already now. We don't want to go in too early. We will need to commit there when we've got enough substantial forces. And then we've got the island of Corallis here, or the city of Corallis with that Roma Victrix Legion as well. So all in all we are securing the main frontier strongly but we need to then to keep pushing once we've got replenishment into our units. So let's just quickly go through the, the mercenary veterinary hopolites. I don't think that's it <laughs> a bit mercenary veterinary hopolite, never mind. Um the unit card slightly wrong there. Probably it's under control. Mount Etna at Syracuse now, lovely. What does that give us actually? It gives us 3% armor for all units, nice. Must be just when we're in this area, when we're out this area, the 3% armor will be um, disbanded, but uh, it's there well, if we're defending here anyway. Winter as well, so we've got our winter seasonal effects happening at the moment, so yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I mean that's gonna, that's gonna sort there. itself out anyway. Oh, put them out by mistake. Uh, but that's gonna sort itself out as well, so not to worry but let's end the turn see what they do now see what the Carthaginian is up to in this end turn phase here we go they're bringing the forces back to Carthage now I think they realize they are weakened and they're gonna try and regroup at Carthage so we can try and take the battle to them as soon as possible uh, while they are weakened then hopefully we can see it guys, we can see it very soon, the sacking of Carthage, which everyone wants to see in this Let's Play. You know, it's it's the ultimate goal. What are you doing, Delamate? You, you're worrying me now with <laughs> those fleets right outside our minimum. You're really worrying me. Libya retreating now as well. What are they going to do with that full army? They're leaving it at Carthage, probably try and support the Carthaginians with that full stack army there. Uh, which would provide uh, support if I did attack them. Which we don't want. Slums are... Actually, training forms complete. God, where's the other slum? Lilibane, right, so we have. Oh god, we're gonna incur some public order problems here then. So, two slums, damn it. God damn it. So, that's literally, literally taking away our funds already. But what I'm gonna do actually is, is take away one of the slums actually. Because we can live with one of the slums for the moment. Public order isn't too bad. And then get rid of it next time. Um, and while we wait. While we wait, we shall uh, recruit some more men again. Now we're going to go for Equites now, as we have got the, uh, the experience rank here. You see, what I'm tempted to do maybe... See, I don't want to leave Corallis un unattended, because if I do, I just know that that will be the point that will be where they'll just go straight in and attack me. Ideally, uh, what I want to do is... Um, it's going to have to be at Brundisium, so we'll get the ball rolling with this now, I'll convert it, I want to convert it into a military wharf and with that will give us the artillery on the ships because then we can attack Carthage with the ships and provide artillery support um, from the sea so we'll build that um, next turn or in a few turns in fact we have got the research already completed which is good um, so what do we finish off then, we finished researching the training reforms okay so that's good, that's, where's that one, in fact, is that, that's that one, so that's giving the auxiliary barracks level 3, okay. So, what we'll do now, we don't want to go for that one yet. Oh, hang on a second, this has changed, this has like, changed. What 
Where's the building of the co- oh, right, okay. Oh. Have I missed something here? But they have changed that. I'm sure they've changed that. Yeah, they have. Which isn't a bad move. I didn't know they'd done this, actually. Uh, CA have put the cohort organisation now into level 3. Now, that was in level 2. If you, um, you guys will know this as well, I'm sure, because I did mention it at the beginning of the Let's Play series, that I wasn't going to recruit the cohorts until later on, because, obviously, Mario Informer didn't happen later on down the line. People were complaining about that, the fact you could get um, Legionnaires, Legionnaires pretty quickly. So CA have changed that. They've brought them right across into level 3 now. And now it takes a long time before you can recruit, can recruit legionaries and veteran legionaries into the um, into the army. So the Marion forms are going to happen a lot, long, a lot further down the line. Excellent. Like it CA. Another movie done which is pretty damn good there. So like it. So you can't even recruit them uh, earlier in the game anymore. So that is I like it. I'm I'm happy with that. So well done. So we'll go for the. Uh, While well, we're waiting, then we'll we we'll recruit the or we'll research the uh, mercenary auxiliaries instead. Nice. Oh yes, I'm very happy with that CA because I didn't want to recruit them early on for that damn reason. And you've you've listened to us yet again, and you've done something about it. I love it. I absolutely love it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring these guys. So we're going to have to stick with these Hestati and uh, Principes for a lot longer than we thought we were going to do. But what I'm going to do is, as I said to you a few t episodes ago, I'm going to reform the armies a bit better to be 4, 4 and 4, 4 Estati, 4 Principes and 4 Triorii. Um, so we'll start that there, give ourselves a bit more income. So let's head the turn again and uh, get the ball rolling with this now. Now that's good, I'm glad CA have done that. Well done, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. It makes it a bit more immersive. It's just ridiculous when you'd see people having legionaries, legionary uh, you know, uh, units in about 260 BC. It just didn't look right at all. It was way before that time, so uh, I'm glad CA have done something about that. Libya bringing fleet maybe across here, they're starting to bring a couple of fleets in to ready themselves maybe in another, another attack at Lily Bay and they, I'm concerned about that army sitting outside of Carthage. Hidden agent exposed. Pathless cursor, our oh, right statesman will heal the statesman doesn't really matter that isn't an issue. We objective now is mission to research following category category economy. Right, what would that give us actually? Prosperity, and what would that do for us? It would give us 5% wealth extra from all sources of regions. Okay, yeah, we'll do that and we'll come back to the uh, auxiliary um, research there. So if we research that one, it was economy, wasn't it? Yeah, so that's fine. We'll research that, which we'll, oh no, we'll come back to diplomacy in a second. Uh, iron tools, which will give us 2% extra wealth and less uh, building costs as well in agriculture. So let's go to diplomacy while we're here. Just remind us, we still probably won't Greetings. be able to get trade with these now two. Speak plainly. No. Greetings. Now speak plain. Okay, have you. We, we, be we've got an aggression pact with Sparta. If I can, can give we you a fair answer? Second? No, yeah. we won't give us defensive lights yet. How are they. How are we with Athens? Now we're I quite, am honored to quite stable you with Athens, aren't we? And look we? forward to your erudite. But no. No, nothing at the moment then, okay. Oh right, okay, let's get rid of these let's get rid of this spy hopefully with this uh champion here. He is one rank lower than the uh than Hezebel, but we'll see what we can do. See if we can try and wound her. We've got a good chance of wounding her with the single combat option. However, let's see if we can mi mi yeah, manipulate her as well. This one's quite a good one, Pers My Persuasion. We've got quite a good chance here. Enemy agent hindered. Okay, good. So you can't move and can't act. Excellent. Okay. Good. Let's move our spy in against these. This Libyan army here. Let's go for military sabotage. Poison the provi provisions. Machine failure. Oh, right. We're able to recruit the cost, so she's. Not as bad as we thought. Um, ah, we want 
Right, okay. Yes, we did actually. We want to recruit, and someone did say this as well in the uh, in the comments. We'd want to recruit an auxiliary barracks here at Syracuse, which would give us the Hoplites as a recruitable unit there. So we'll recruit the auxiliary there, and we'll be able to keep this slum for this turn, unfortunately. But what we're going to do, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to bring this army across now to prepare ourselves for the big one, the D Day of of the ancient times, the D-Day landings of Carthage basically. So we're going to bring them across now, get them, get them ready to to uh, muster their men here, just outside of uh, Sicily. And we're going to go with all three armies. And that's going to happen next time guys. Uh, we're going to bring this as well, this fleet across, this unit of Principes. And we're, go we're going to go for it. I think we're going to go for it um, with one hell of a battle, and we're going to do, as I say, with all three armies there, and attack from the sea and see what the hell we can do. Maybe try and land, take it in land as well. We'll recruit some more units before we do that, of course. Uh, I don't think we can hold out for much longer without. I don't think we can wait uh, to re to get the ballista I think we're going to be have to go for it now if we don't we could face a lot of problems so we I think we're going to have to strike while the iron's hot here so next episode guys we'll, we'll go for Carthage that will be the good definite goal in episode 10 the, t the one hour special so you guys are going to have an epic one hour special on your hands uh, for you guys so you'll be Lippy, licking your lips in anticipation I'm sure so I'll leave it with you on this cliffhanger so I'll wrap up the episode 9 for you here, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it as always, please remember to comment, subscribe and check out my other Let's Plays, my Sparta my Egypt and of course my Syracuse Hannibal the Gates Let's Plays which are on the channel as well, if you haven't already checked them out please do so and of course to cart with Lionheart as well, um, so yes uh, I shall leave it with you here, so as always this is Warrior Sparta for now saying goodbye, ciao